Now we're also ready to export the base mesh uh, for the character. And it's just the base mesh that we're going to work with right now. But in order to do that, remember I told you when we morphing, they have to be the exact number of vertices. If we just exported what we have now, the vertices wouldn't match because what's hidden would not be exported. So what we've got to do is first off make sure that we get back to where we can see our entire body and we see everything's filled in. And all I did was hold uh, shift control and click the background. And now we're ready to go ahead and we're ready to export this entire figure out. So let's just go up here to export. And now if you want if you're not sure, always make sure up here that you're on the tool you're going to export. Export. And I'm just going to get character one out. Okay. Now we're ready to go ahead and jump into 3D Exchange and see what happens. Okay, here we are with our original mesh in 3D Exchange. And we're going to select the RLG6 body. You have to make sure that you do that. And then we're going to go down and find the Replace Mesh button. And then we're going to use Character 1 out, the one we just made. And yes, it is the base body. And now you can see it's loaded our mesh in. Now we need to go and get our uh, normal map, but let's make sure we're on the head. You can see here it says skin head. If you're not sure, you can just go ahead and use the eyedropper. Double click on the bump map. Be sure you click import as normal map. Click our exported head map, and now you can see our scarring and everything. And we're still over here at 27,706 polys. And of course, the different sliders through the different applications in the pipeline will affect this a little bit differently. And so you also have the additional edge of being able to adjust this in strength with your sliders. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and export our hair, beard, and eyebrow meshes. What we'll do is export the hair mesh and the methods the same for the others. So let's go ahead and take a look at getting that done. Let's see, first thing we want to do is go all the way to the low res so we can do our normal map of course we want to go into UV make sure we're on 2048 move our borders to 16 then let's go to our normal map we have just the hair selected it doesn't matter what's showing because it's selected as a sub tool and we're going to create the normal map now there's our normal map we're going to clone it and then we're going to go to texture flip V export now I'll call this Mohawk PNG now we have that now we're ready also to go ahead and export the uh, geometry out at the lowest mesh now in this case it's extremely low you may have to actually come in here and bump it up a subdivision or two to get what you want let's see what we're looking at right here that's 242 polys That's 756. We may go ahead and export this out at 3. But if you want to save the polys, you can see that's 3,000. That's a bit much. We'll cut back down to 2. We'll go ahead and we'll export this out at this level. This does not have to be, you don't have to worry about, all we're doing is just controlling poly count. We don't have to worry about it being the same because it's going to be an accessory. Or come in as a prop, then we'll make an accessory once we attach it in iClone. So let's go ahead and export the mesh. Mohawk. And now our mesh is exported and we're ready to go ahead and jump back over into 3D Exchange.